Hi friends, today we're going to read a book about Elmo. It's called K is for Kindness. Do you see Elmo being kind to his cousin Albie? So Elmo learns about being kind to others as he works to earn his Monster Scout Kindness Badge by helping his friends and neighbors up and down and all around Sesame Street. Let's see what happens. K is for Kindness by Jody Shepard, illustrated by Tom Brannan. Elmo loved being a scout monster. He loved being a monster scout. He loved hanging out with other scouts. He loved campfires and scout hikes and scout singing and he loved earning Monster Scout badges. Elmo already had a Monster Music Badge, a What's Cooking Badge, and a Be Good to the Earth Badge. Now he was working on his K is for Kindness Badge. Elmo would have to work very hard to get the K is for Kindness Badge, Elmo told his mommy. You are a kind monster with a big heart, said Elmo's mommy. That's a good start. Elmo began that afternoon. Elmo knew that step one was be kind to little monsters. Elmo looked around. He saw that his cousin Albie was crying. What's the matter, Albie? Elmo asked. My car is broken, Albie answered, sniffing. Look. Phew, said Elmo. That's an easy one. He gave Albie one of his own toy cars. Elmo thinks this one is really cool. Albie gave Elmo a hug. K is for kindness badge. Here comes Elmo. Were you ever kind to somebody who was younger than you? You did a great job. You did step number one. Step two was be kind to older folks. Elmo looked around again. He saw Nanny Bird coming down the street and ran to greet her. You must be coming to visit Big Bird, Elmo said. Let Elmo help you. Thank you, Elmo, Nanny Bird chirped cheerfully. What a nice little monster you are. Have you ever helped anybody who was older? That was very good of you. Step two. That reminds Elmo, said Elmo. After Nanny Bird arrived at Big Bird's nest, Elmo went inside and made a call. Hi, Grandpa, said Elmo. Elmo, boomed his Grandpa Monster over the laptop. It's always a sunny day when you call. That made Elmo feel really good. Be kind to animals was step three for earning the K is for kindness badge. The next day after school, Elmo helped Bert feed the pigeons. Have you ever done step four? Have you helped an animal? Later, he helped the count find a missing bat. That's one little lost bat, safely counted, said the count. Thank you, Elmo. Help out a friend who is sick was step four. Grover had stayed home from school that day, so Elmo took some hot soup to his house. Chicken soup is just the thing for sneezy, furry blue monsters, said Grover, who was snuggled in his bed. Achoo! He patted Elmo on the head. Elmo, you are a one of a very kind monster. Have you ever helped somebody who was sick? That was step four on your way to your kindness badge. Step five was be a good listener. Elmo read in his Monster Scout handbook that night. The next day was Saturday. Elmo went for a walk and there was Abby Cadabby coming his way. She looks sad. Hi, Abby, said Elmo. What's the matter? Abby told him a long story about a magic spell gone wrong. Elmo listened quietly as she talked. 
But when El- Abby finished speaking, she smiled. Why do you think she smiled? Let's see. Thanks, Elmo. I feel much better. But Elmo didn't do anything, said Elmo. You stopped and listened, said Abby. You were a good friend. Do you remember when you stopped and listened and you were a good friend? How did it make your friend feel? Finally, for Elmo to earn his badge, he had to do just one more thing. Turn a frown upside down. Elmo knows who can help with that one, Elmo exclaimed. He went downstairs and knocked on the lid of Oscar's trash can. Who's there? said a grouchy voice. It's Elmo, replied Elmo. Oh yeah? Well, get lost, Furface, said Oscar, popping out. But Elmo needs to turn your frown upside down, exclaimed Elmo. It's for Elmo's Monster Scout badge. Now let me see. What can Elmo do? What do you think Elmo can do for Oscar the Grouch? Let's find out. Elmo gave Oscar a cupcake with a pink heart on top. Oscar frowned. Yuck! What's that? Elmo gave Oscar a big yellow balloon. Oscar frowned some more. Balloons are way too cheerful, he said, until they pop with a loud bang. Elmo tried to give Oscar a hug. Oscar frowned even more. Grouches hate hugs. Then how is Elmo going to change Oscar's frown into a smile? He asked. Not possible, Oscar said laughing. Grouches never smile. Elmo looked sad. Then he looked at Oscar. You're laughing, Elmo said happily. Elmo did it. Thank you, Oscar. Oh, no. Don't mention it, grumbled Oscar. I mean it. Really, don't mention it. Now scram. He did end up helping Oscar. A few weeks later, there was a big party to award the badges the Monster Scouts had earned. Finally, it was Elmo's turn. Good job, Elmo, said the scout leader, giving Elmo his K is for kindness badge. What did you learn? What do you think Elmo learned? Let's see. Elmo thought for a moment. Elmo learned that being kind to someone else makes Elmo feel all warm and tickly inside. He answered, It feels kind of wonderful. So now Elmo has his kindness badge. He did it. Do you think you can go and be kind today?